Keenan Reynolds into the end zone. Touchdown, Navy Midshipman. Run and option cuts it back up the middle. Touchdown, Navy Midshipman. Well, it's an honor to be back for the 86th annual Sullivan Awards. Every year since 1930, the Amateur Athletic Union has been presenting the Sullivan Award to the nation's top amateur athlete. With previous honorees including Peyton Manning and Michael Phelps, Navy quarterback Keenan Reynolds is in good company here, even though he's been overlooked in recent months. We know you weren't invited to the Heisman Trophy finals. We know they didn't invite you to the Combine. So how much is that fueling you right now? I do feel like people underestimate me and, and kind of slight me. It keeps me working, it keeps me driven, keeps me hungry. Discipline, integrity, accountability. At the U.S. Naval Academy, these words mean more than just motivation to young athletes in training. They are the watchwords of something bigger, of men and women becoming leaders of a nation, ready for war and service to country. I can see he's more polished after four years at the academy. I feel like I've really developed from a boy into a man. In all of my years I've been here, when I'm in my 19th season, Keenan's the best football player that I've ever coached here. We might have had some guys that might have been faster, maybe some guys that might have thrown the ball farther, had a stronger arm, but he was always calm and cerebral during games. You could talk to him, he could grasp it. You know, it just, um, he was like a coach on the field. Ever since I was five, I've always wanted to play in the NFL. I mean, if you're looking at a sheet of paper, you know, the size, the numbers, the measurables, they're not that appealing. My testing numbers, I mean, they're not eye-popping off the charts. You know, a lot of people don't look at my heart. They don't look at my work ethic. They don't look at my leadership. Those are things that can't be measured by numbers. But many of Reynolds' accomplishments can be quantified. In four years as Navy's quarterback, Reynolds scored 88 touchdowns more than any other player in Division I history. This year, he delivered the midshipmen a third consecutive bowl victory and a top 25 ranked finish at 18. But the one number that might have the most impact on Keenan's uncertain draft stock, the five years he owes the Navy after graduation. I knew what I was doing when I signed my two for seven. If I'm granted the opportunity to go play, it would be a blessing. But at the same time, I, I went about my experience here at the academy as if I wasn't going to play at all. The policy that's driven by the Secretary of the Navy he is one that we follow here. More than likely, Keenan will associate with a team if he's drafted and then serve actively for two years, and then he can go into reserve status for the rest of his commitment, uh, similar to what Roger Staubach did, similar to what David Robinson did. The winner of the James E. Sullivan Award, Mr. Keenan Reynolds. My hopes for Keenan's future is that he's happy, he's content, that he changes the world in some way. And if that involves football, then so be it. If not, okay. But I want his dreams to come true. I hope that he keeps that uh, quiet air of confidence about him, but always stays humble. If he stays true to himself, he'll continue to be successful at whatever he chooses to do. The draft's right around the corner. I just want to continue to prove myself right and show people that I can't play with the best. <laughs>